Thank you to Kettering University and Stryker Careers for their continued support. Learn more at the end of this video. We are so tied up in our minds that we've lost our senses. Time to wake up. What is reality? Obviously, no one can say because it isn't words. It isn't material, that's just an idea. Reality is... expression of you as you are. One must live. We need to survive.
Hey Robo people! Today we're going to do a rundown of what Team 549 Chargers have been up to this season. Starting off with our design sub-team. We used our parametric model to fit the game rules for this year. They've created blueprints for the intake, indexer, shooter, and tested compression variables and launch angles. Manufacturing took all the blueprints from design to construct and weld the robot together. They've also been working with the CNC and lathe to create parts for the elevator. Electrical has taken the chassis for manufacturing and put all the electrical components on it so the drive team can start practicing with the robot. Programming has worked on creating autonomous code, using pathfinding, as well as improving training of the robot with a wireless protocol to make it much more efficient in a shorter amount of time. Drive team has been working on defensive driving practices using the old robot. We would also like to give a huge thank you to all our wonderful sponsors, we couldn't have done it without you. Thank you all for listening, and good luck to all other first teams. See you on the field! Yeah, so starting us off, we had Team 5727, the Omega Bytes, out of Spindale, North Carolina, and they're going to be competing Weeks 2 at a regional to start with, which hopefully they'll punch their ticket to champs there. And it looks like they have a really solid start leading into, you know, week two. And this video, who knows when it was totally completed, chances are they're still working on things. But it looks like they had a really solid swerve drive going in. They have a really good kind of handle on like their intake. And it looked like their um, climber was like nice box beam kind of intake. And I mean, after they go to that regional, they're gonna be competing weeks three and four um, in their district event. So. It seems like they're, you know, they're raring and ready to go, especially heading into a regional week two. So, I mean, after that, we saw, what was it? Another, oh no, not another swerve, but we had team 1740 coming out of Connecticut, the cyber kernels. Um, sorry, my dogs are being jerks to each other, but <laughs> I love this robot. Um, it's like a little kind of ambidextrous layup bot. It's got these two little like double catapults, which I was really excited to see that it was two separately man like manipulated catapults because they can clearly go and like, you know, get rid of a ball if it's not the one that they want. Um, or they can just do sweet double layups with both hands. Uh, their intake I really liked because it seems like it's really going to be able to be compact and deal with defense, which is really typical in New England. Um, they're going to be competing in weeks three and six. So they'll be at Western New England and then they'll be rounding out their um, New England experience at the WPI district event. Um, and then after that, we, that's pasta, by the way, uh, <laughs> we got to see team 3047 Red Pirate Robotics out of Plainfield, Indiana, and they're going to be competing weeks one and weeks three in their district in Indiana. Um, I was really impressed to see just how like solid their climb is at this point. I think they're going to do really well going into a week one event. Um, and then I mean, their shooting looks really solid. It looks like they have a really good practice field too. So coming up to week one, I think they're going to be a robot to watch in that district. And Tyler, do you want to talk about the next team that we saw on that list out of Minnesota? Yeah, 3134 Accelerators. Uh, this is actually a team uh, I got to see this past year at the uh, Northern Minnesota Robotics uh, Conference or competition. Uh, so excited to see that. Uh, the robot Synergy uh, is the, uh, looking uh, pretty good so far here. Uh, of course, starting out... Uh, their video uh, showing off their H drive and low hub scoring. I keep on called hab, by the way, not hub. Uh, uh, they wrap up their video with a mid rug climb as well, too. And, you know, nothing too fancy in this, but uh, looking pretty solid on there. Uh, I love seeing some of the low hub uh, scoring robots. And uh, at the week zero event, we saw some do quite well. Uh, so interesting with that. Uh, but uh, they might not be the fastest. Very consistent, though. And I wish them best of luck at their week one event coming up in Duluth. 
Our next team, uh, 3201 Ross Rambotics from Cincinnati, Ohio. Sorry, Cincinnati, I was rooting for you uh, in the Super Bowl. But uh, mm, Ross Rambotics, uh, <laughs> right, uh, gives us an overview of their build season from CAD to assembly. Uh, lots of compliant wheels uh, here in this robot, making Andy Mark happy, I'm sure, uh, for index team uh, and a sword drive uh, that could serve them quite well. So looking forward to their uh, completed robot uh, coming out as they have a couple weeks still as they compete week three at the Greater Pittsburgh Regional for their first event. Uh, rounding up, uh, Group B, uh, 5409 uh, Chargers coming in from Oakville, Ontario, Canada. Uh, takes a different approach with a nice graphics uh, and rundown <laughs> of each one of their uh, sub teams coming in, which I thought was kind of a cool approach, uh, a little bit unique on that. Uh, as we start to go through, we see uh, more and more of the robot. Uh, it looks pretty slick to me. Uh, turret vision and a mid rug climb. Uh, it looks great for 5409 as they get ready to compete at the Humber College Day Two event. Uh, only uh, one day events for Ontario and Chesapeake and uh, what was the other? What's the regional that's doing it? Montreal, right? Uh, the Quebec ones are doing Day One events. So excited to see them compete and good luck to 5409. Thanks to Kettering University for their support of this video. Over one third of Kettering's current students are former robotics team members. Go pro at Kettering University and get a free t-shirt. Students in grades eight through 12 and located in the continental US scan the QR code and complete the form by the date on screen and receive more information about Kettering. Thanks to Stryker Careers for their support in this video. First alumni and mentors are making Stryker a top priority for their internships and careers. That's because Stryker knows that those in first are the leaders and innovators of tomorrow. If you want to help make the world a better place by creating life-saving medical devices and technology, get started at careers.stryker.com. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and ring the bell to stay up to date on our new videos. Keep the conversation going and provide your input to our content. Watch our live shows at twitch.tv forward slash first updates now. Join our Discord at discord.gg forward slash first updates now and check out Fun FTC on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter, and First Updates Now on Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, and Twitter.